Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. We've got a haul today. I was going to do this kind of haul segment within a vlog but honestly I've got that much stuff I thought you know what it's going to be a dedicated video so I'm going to do some try and clips with everything that I show you guys today. I've got Zara predominantly and also some bits from m &S. So I'll start with the Zara items. If you want to see more of these items styled up I'm doing more kind of styling content over on my Instagram now. So Fray Farrington 1 for that and any kind of homeware bits for everyone to home. Um, but yeah, I feel like we could just jump straight into it today and start with Zara fashion, then I'll show you the homeware bits and then I'll show you the M&S bits. But make sure you set and ready with a nice cozy drink. I've got coffee on the go today and I'm literally like halfway through it already so we're going to have another sip of this and get straight into it. Everything that I will share with you in today's video I will leave linked below and let me just go grab my laptop actually because ideally I want to tell you the price of some of these items because especially the Zara bits most of them were in the sale. I have to admit I have had a quick sneak peek at some of these items already and the Zara sale bits in particular there are a couple of things that I will be returning just for like sizing and things but we'll get into that but let me just get up the prices here in front of me. I feel like, do you prefer it when I tell you the prices as well, or do you prefer just to click on the link and find out the price when you click on it, if that makes sense? Okay, I'm gonna start with this um, first and foremost. It's a cozy knit, I thought good for winter. I got it in a size small. It was $59.99, but it was in the sale for $29.99. And again, the sale price that I'm telling you, we all know with Zara, they do like reductions. It's like several reductions. So the price I paid might even be cheaper than those prices now so click on the link if you want to shop them and then you'll see if they're even cheaper but i'll tell you the price that i paid so 29.99 i really liked the design of this it's kind of like an open bat wing style short um cardi that you could wear maybe a long sleeve top underneath like just plain black or or even chocolate cream whatever but it's also got this kind of scarf detail as well these were a mega bargain i got them in a medium they're a faux leather trouser slash i want to say legging but actually you know they are more of a trouser because i've got the zip and button and they're really nice and high-waisted which i love they've got like a seam running down the front which is quite nice nice added detail quite stretchy comfortable so i got these ones in a medium they were 35.99 but i got them for just 12.99 i feel like zara do jackets really well so i picked up this one this one is it says on there garment with wool so i got this one in a small it was $79.99 but I got it in the sale for $39.99 again it might even be cheaper than that now but it's quite a heavy duty it feels quite thick it's definitely a winter one this one it's like just got popper details but otherwise pockets and kind of like a bomber style bottom like with a gathered bottom so yeah really heavy duty kind of bomber style wool jacket that one I don't know if I love that style on me. The quality I'm happy with, but just when I tried it on, I was a bit like unsure of how to style it. Don't know if it suited me. So I might return that one, um, but it is, if you like bombers, it is nice. Sticking with a bomber style jacket, this one is a linen, um, like bomber style, kind of smart bomber style jacket, perfect for spring got the pockets on both sides as well and again the popper details i got this one in so they do extra small to small or medium to large i always find when zara do that sizing that they naturally are quite oversized anyway so i did go for the extra small to small however i'm unsure on whether or not i would have maybe preferred the larger one so this was 49.99 but i got it in the sale for just 15 99 absolute steal that one this is too big for me i thought go wild card with a metallic swimsuit i was thinking it could be nice like body for um going out out cocktails drinks jeans that kind of thing or obviously as a swimsuit i've got a hen do coming up that i thought we're having a bit of a glitzy disco party theme i think potentially one night and I thought again that could be dressed up quite nice or then also worn to the beach club. However, it is unfortunately too big for me. It was the only size they had left, unless if they've restocked. But I got it in a medium at $32.99 full price, but I only paid $12.99 for it. It's got the removable padding as well, but yeah, it's just 
ill-fitting that one on me okay i got this kind of like linen is it yeah 100 percent linen shirt but it's like a collarless shirt that i thought looked quite nice button down all the way just a basic good like little basic to add to a capsule wardrobe that i feel like you can mix and match with quite a few items i think this with like some white trousers would look really smart as well as also maybe just pairing a bit more casually with like cream jeans even just like as an over shirt thrown over something in the summer but i got it in a medium full price it was 35.99 i paid just 9.99 for that one and then the last of the first box for fashion for zara is this so this is kind of like again that kind of linen -y fabric that kind of cotton linen this one a bit thicker i got it in a medium full price it's 59.99 but i only paid 19.99 and i thought for that it could be a really nice kind of summery linen dress option to wear very casually it's got quite high slits on the side but quite long very loose fit just comfy however i don't know if i love the color of it i feel like on me my skin tone like naturally being quite pale i feel like it just isn't quite the right neutral shade had it have been this more cool toned i'd have preferred it and i would have kept it but for the color i feel like i'm going to return that one okay the second box of zara fashion items now and we're starting with a jumpsuit i love this and i'm really torn on whether or not to keep it the reason being i sized up to a large thinking that it would be quite oversized that i could like cinch in however i think i needed to stay true to size with this one so a small maybe even or a medium because it is quite oversized on me um but full price this is 49.99 i got it in the sale again another bargain it was just 17.99 so such a steal for a beautiful linen jumpsuit gorgeous for spring summer i love the kind of wooden buttons and it's just such a beautiful color that again in comparison to the other one much more suited to my skin type i just I might have to see if they've got a smaller size of that one. Again, another sale option that I thought could be a nice summer pick is this strapless dress. Again, very simple, comfy, casual, relaxed, but something a little bit, looks a little bit smarter. It's got pockets, but it's linen bottom, kind of mid axi length. It has got a slit at the back. And then the top half is like a kind of bandeau, boob tube type, stretchy, ribbed, um soft cotton so i picked that one up in a medium and full price it is 29.99 but i paid the bargain price of just 8.99 for that one feel like we all need to start booking our summer holidays i have one booked Does anyone else considering we don't have a summer holiday this year or 2023 last year um very much looking forward to it already and it's not until july <laughs> i've got this pair of wide leg joggers very much wide leg these ones i got them in a small at 25.99 full price these ones were in the sale for just 9.99 and they are very wide leg and dramatic but i just thought so comfy because they are so wide legged i feel like they'd be a good one to even dress up if you like to dress joggers up the fact that they are so wide legged i feel like you could do that with these ones the wide leg just makes them so so comfortable almost like a plazo style bottom on those and then these trousers that i got gorgeous fabric gorgeous color everything about these i loved apart from the length of them they just seemed too cropped on me they do refer to them as the balloon trousers and i got them in a medium uh, which fit fine other than the length i'm five foot five so i'm not tall and they're like they seem very cropped on me so anyway full price 35.99 they're in the sale for just 9.99 but i do feel like you have to maybe on the more be on the more petite side to be able to get away with those like the length of them then i've got this loose fit uh, pair of trousers i don't love these and i feel like if i don't love them then they should probably be returned but i thought they'd be nice summery trouser but that's lightweight and obviously in black they weren't as high waisted as i'd have liked them to have been um i got them in a small and i i do feel like i probably would have needed a medium and the waist might have been a bit too big i don't know they just don't fit that great on me so i will be returning these but if you do like the look of them on then they were 22.99 full price how much did i pay 7.99 wow bargain these were more me i will say of the two they are more of like a champagne 
plazo loose fit longer trouser but again the fitting of these for me is just slightly off so i picked up a small and i think a medium would be too big on the waist for me um so unfortunately purely on sizing i'm gonna have to return this just because they felt a bit too snug around my like bum and thigh area whereas i wanted them to be quite flowing so anyway i did get them in a small 29.99 full price these ones are in the sale for just 9.99 so definitely if you're not that kind of like pear shape or bigger around that area then i feel like these would look lovely really nice i'm really sad that they don't really fit me very well i did pick up some shorts um just very premature i know but again just a sale find that i couldn't resist and i love the color of them just like a linen olive colored um i want to say bermuda style short but they're actually quite short i did think that when i was trying them on i was thinking they're probably a bit too short for me in a medium 29.99 full price but i've got them in the sale for just 9.99 and they do come with a uh, matching it's like a linen uh like cropped waistcoat that's really pretty but i didn't see that left in my size okay the last of the fashion items from zara is definitely a return i just don't like it it's the thread i think that i don't like can you see that all the kind of like orangey yellowy bits running through it and it's just not the softest it's not the nicest it's actually to be fair it's not that it's not that it's itchy it's just not super soft that's probably me being a bit harsh i think it's the color of it that throws me uh but anyway i've got it in a small 69.99 this one was full price so if i'm honest i had higher hopes i did only pay 29.99 for it and it is very thick and chunky and good for winter but that one's just that one's a no from me anyway um i'll show you the zara home bits oh i nearly knocked my coffee over onto the carpet that wouldn't have been good right i don't know if i'm gonna be able to open this one i've had a quick sneak peek already inside but it's a stone rustic looking lamp and if i'm honest with you i actually already have two textured lamps from zara home and i loved it that much and i had another space that i wanted a lamp but i thought you know what i'm gonna to stick to what i know and that's the zara home lamps they are just lovely really really nice and i loved the shade of the um like the the linen color the shade of the shade it's quite cool toned actually but then with that dark linen shape just warms it up a bit and with a nice warm colored bulb in there lovely and i like the fact that the cord as well is the same color and then i also got this little box of a few other home bits and we have some christmas finds so bear with me because i know a lot of people are like what christmas this time of the year but honestly it's the best time to get the bargains and i'm a bargain hunter i can't help myself but anyway i picked up this set of christmas tea towels and it comes as a set of two now one of them you've got um christmas dinner what does it say a very special christmas dinner at the top and it's just got loads of different like utensils foods crockery and then this one is this one's my favorite i think the best christmas sports it's got loads of like ski wear ice skating goggles boots rucksacks and yeah and obviously a very muted color palette so i picked up them and then i also got this in this sale this cute little gardening set it comes in like a little little linen pouch with the zara home on there what does it say garden collection zara home and then inside you've got like a mini a set of mini tools to be able to just take out and about with you if you're doing like herb planting gardening you've got the little markers which tom did quite a bit of last year so i thought this would be good for that and then you've got little sacketers shovels um little pick and a rake but how cute is that this one was just a very random purchase again i saw in the christmas sales and i had bits this christmas that i also bought in the sales last year and i really appreciated at christmas opening my kind of christmas boxes and kind of remembering that i bought some zara home bits to use so yeah i quite liked that i did this so that's why i had a quick look at the stationery section as well and for like gifting gift wrapping and anyway they sold these little boxes of different tags all different shapes and sizes different border colors you've got burgundy i think i really like well they've got like a charcoal gold ones 
Um, but yeah, they were a pack of 51 tags. The only thing with this is, did I order? I thought I ordered two of these. They're $1.99 in the sale and they're the, these little glass egg cups. But yeah, I really thought I ordered two. So I don't know why only one arrived. Maybe I'll just check, recheck my order. But yeah, $1.99 for that cute little glass kind of fluted egg cup. So anyway, that is everything that I picked up from Zara. Now moving on to m and I feel like I've got quite a good few fashion finds from m and um, So again, everything will be linked below first and foremost. And the main reason why I went on m and in the first place is this trending trench coat, which I have seen online duping the Arquette one, which is so popular. And honestly, guys, it's so similar. Fraction of the price. I feel like you'd be silly not to get the cheaper alternative. And it's m and so, you know, it's good quality. Um, good like design and everything i did size up though because i'd seen online that if you're wanting that boxy fit two size up so i got a 14 um shower resistant storm wear repels water and rain showers just like a simple panelled short trench so i feel like i've got a long trench already and that's a really nice alternative to style up this time of the year right into spring and then i've got some knitwear and the quality of these knitwear pieces so good so i got this jumper firstly and it's like a high neck because you can tell quite like the high necks this one's a little bit flimsy this one's from h&m but like an old one i don't think they sell it anymore and it's okay but it starts to sorry i'm just looking in the mirror it starts to like go like that a little bit rather than hold its structure so i don't mind wearing it but i feel like it's maybe only got one more winter's life in it before i probably uh, recycle um but anyway i've got this jumper in a large because i do like to get my jumpers a little bit more oversized to be able to wear with leggings and have them a bit longer but yeah in a large this one with merino wool it says and it's nice and soft quite thick and weighty and i really liked just the simple design of it very very simple it's got a really nice kind of piping design down the front and a little slip which i've never really seen before so i thought that made it a little bit different to anything I already have and then I also got a chunky cable knit jumper this one's a little you know like typical cable knit a bit holy but um so yeah this time of year I probably layer but yeah just a simple cable knit jumper that I like love it when jumpers are like this when they've got a split at the bottom so it's not tight around like under your bum um, and also it being longer at the back as well so again leggings boots nice coat this one is in a 14 so again sized up i'm usually like a 10 10 to 12 um a bit pricier this one it's from the brand all beret has anyone ever heard of that before i don't think i've ever tried anything from that brand but um yeah anyway moving on i've got this matching set there's just one thing putting me off this otherwise it's the perfect lounge at home set that feels a little nicer so it's from oh again another brand they must sell loads of different brands on MS, but it's the basics by chinti and parker in a small um i got the bottoms are these wool and cashmere yeah i thought they were cashmere um so these are the bottoms just wide leg, simple, high-waisted trousers. And then the top that I got to go with it is the matching top, which is like a V-neck, which I got in a large. But the only thing putting me off this is the branding. Where is it? It's quite subtle, I suppose, but it's, oh, it's not subtle at all, actually. It's a bright neon orange cross. And I don't really like that. It's on the top and the bottoms. And online, you couldn't see that. So I feel that's a bit naughty that they've kind of hidden that online. Uh, because, yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah, look there on the bottoms, on the side. A big bright neon cross. And it's embroidered in, so it's not something you can just take off. So that's the only thing putting me off that set, which is such a shame to not keep a set just purely based on that. But oh, why did they? on there i also picked up this cozy hooded blanket they call it the MS snuggle this is an adult's large thermal sherpa fleece hooded jacket ultra warmth getting into your pjs in an evening having done your skincare hair freshly washed and dried and putting that on it's just there's nothing quite like it i've got one more fashion item 
Um, in a size 10, regular length, wide leg pair of trousers. They are easy to iron, pure linen, these ones. I thought they'd be good for summer. If I'm honest with you, now that they've arrived, I'm not, I don't love the style of them. I do like the color, and I like the fact that they are 100% linen, but I think the back pockets are putting me off a little bit, and just, yeah, because from the front you can't really tell. I think that these with like a nice basic white tee, but then that back pocket detail, I don't know if that just makes them a little bit dated. Not trendy. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know which of those is your favourite, actually. Um, and then I also got just one item. So I got this uh, wooden tray, which I loved the colour of it. How nice is that? It's like an irregular shaped wooden tray that you can use to pop diffusers, candles, whatever you want on here, a little trinket dish tray. I just thought for styling, this would be lovely. And above all, the color of it, absolutely love. In fact, you know what it'd be really nice with? On the slightly wider side, to put uh, an electric diffuser, but then next to it to have two or three oils. That could be quite cute. Or even like a little glass dish for the water part and then one of the oils sat next to it as well that is everything so yeah thanks for sticking with me um throughout this haul i hope you guys have enjoyed it sorry it's not a vlog i know a lot of you guys like the vlogs but also a lot of you prefer the hauls as well so i thought i would mix it up switch it up just sit down and do a haul for you today links will be left in the description box below i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys